Welcome, welcome, welcome to Explore EXP Realty, where Gusty and I each week, every Thursday at four o'clock, um, we get to talk to amazing people like our guests today um, mm -hmm. about the uh, business model of EXP and how it works for different people. So, um, hey, Gusty. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So together we are going to explore with this awesome agent, y'all. She is brand new right out of the gate and she is, you're capping what, this month? Mm -hmm. So meet yeah. Mary Martin Brown. Welcome, Mary. Hi, <laughs> Mary Martin. <laughs> you know what? I answer to both. <laughs> I know. I'm so glad to have you on here um, because you. you have been so much fun to watch all year. Um, you know, Chad and Gusty and I have had a blast just, you know, really seeing you get out mm -hmm. in the community. And the other day when you were explaining kind of like your start story um, to uh, another agent who was trying to find her place in the world, um, uh, I just loved how you were kind of concerned about not getting started. <laughs> um, so share with us a little bit about like when you got your license and you know yeah. what, what it was like to kind of get started. Yeah. Um, so I got my license in December of last year. And so it was right before the holidays. So I really didn't have any expectations of, you know, hitting the ground running until January. Um, but, you know, I went through the whole process of the pre-license course and the cram course and studying for the test and taking the exam and passed it, thank God. But um, after I passed it, I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> like there were a couple times that like I called Chad and I was like, why is no one calling me yet? I don't have any clients. Um, and he, <laughs> I'm like, but why does no one want to work with me? I don't I'm ready to work. <laughs> I have no experience. Call me. Um, so anyway, that was December. Um, and then I just kind of kept hammering on social media and letting like my sphere of influence know that, you know, I'm a real estate agent now um, and spread the word and that kind of thing. And um, within a couple of weeks, like I think it was the second week of January, um, someone referred a buyer and seller combo um, to me. And I was like, OK, now what do I do? I don't know what to do with a client. I've gotten a client, which is what I wanted. And now I have one and I'm scared to death, but I'm having to kind of keep it together for them. So I'm like, yeah, I'd love to help you sell your house and buy a new one. And Sure, no problem. I have no clue where to start, but we'll just go for it. Um, fortunately, um, Chad was able to come to all those appointments, went to all the showings, um, walked me through the listing agreement step by step and the buyer's agency agreement and buyer's you know, offers and all of that with me. Um, and so that was very yeah, helpful. I even wrote an offer on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, it was great. On my very first listing, I rejected Jenny Williams' offer. So. <laughs> well, my client was yeah. not. Like, it, was, it was horrible, too, because yeah. there really wasn't a good reason to reject it. But my clients didn't want to accept it. And um, I was just like, I don't think you understand who the agent is on this, but... <laughs> Well, my client wasn't ready to go. He, he, he was ready to go way over asking price and deal. Yeah. So he wasn't quite ready yet. So it yeah. works out for the best. Everything does. Yes. <laughs> yes, it ended up working out really, really well. The timing of everything was perfect. Um, and then from there, it just kind of it was a domino effect. Um, about two weeks after I wrote contracts for that con uh, that client, I had somebody reach out on Instagram. Um, which ended up being that's been my bread and butter all year. And I had no clue that Instagram would be where I would get the vast majority of my clients. I would say 75% or more have come wow. from Instagram. That is a huge tip. I had no clue. I mean, I was just posting stuff and sharing other content from like other people that I didn't even come up with. And sure enough, somebody reached out. And so that was January, February of this year. And, um, Ever since then, I've been working with, I haven't had a gap. I've been working with, you know, three to five clients at a time ever since then and um, ended up having my first three closings in April. So I was able to knock out those three, graduate from the mentor program, jump to the 80-20 commission split. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been a wild ride. 
Well, it has, and you've done so great. And so when I posted a little while ago that you were our guest, um, my pastor texted me and he was like, oh my gosh, I was her principal. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. Yeah, that's so awesome. He he said that you were, um, you know, so smart and such a go-getter. So that's nice. Yeah. I was definitely going up to his office trying to make changes to some things. So... (laughs) Yeah. Hey, what, what was your background before real estate? Um, it was a crazy couple of years before I got into real estate. So I graduated high school in 2014. I went to Birmingham Southern for two years, um, wasted a bunch of time, accrued a lot of debt. Um, and then two years in, I was like, I have no clue what I'm doing with my life. And I currently have a lot more debt than I should. So I ended up leaving and I was just going to take some time and start working um, to kind of save some money and figure out what was going on with my life. <laughs> Chad said, God, I'm old. Um, and, uh, so I started working and I was working three jobs. So this was um, spring of 2016. I was working three jobs and living with my family and um, just trying to figure out what to do. I ended up meeting my now husband during that time, praise the Lord. And um, he comes from, his family has a very strong mortgage background. And so, um, and real estate had kind of been on my mind, but you know, I didn't really know anybody. And also, you know, thought I'm, how old was I? 20, I was like, what can I do at 20 years old? And so, um, but he's always kind of been the one that's pushed me. Like, I think you would be great at this. And so um, I actually ended up getting into a sales job in the meantime, once I decided the three job hourly wage thing wasn't working for me, um, I got a sales job and actually crushed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I worked for a men's apparel brand that's based out of Birmingham called State Traditions. And I was there for um, almost two years and traveled and had the best time and really kind of um, got to sharpen a lot of gifts that I didn't know I had and um, discovered that, you know, I enjoy sales. I'm a people person. Um, I like the kind of on the go lifestyle and job and everything. So anyway, ended up getting married in 2018. Um, we found out we were having a baby three months later. And um, I was like, okay, well, for now, I'm just going to be a stay at home mom. Then she was born. And I was like, okay, I can't be a stay at home mom. <laughs> it lasted <laughs> before. I was like, I, I don't know who I am. I don't know my identity. Like, I'm in pajamas all day, covered in spit up. I've got to find an outlet where I can use my talents and my gifts, you know. So um, anyway, I was like, okay, let's let's revisit this real estate thing and see if this really could be um, a good fit for me. I've got, you know, more experience under my belt. Um, You know, I'm financially stable at this point. So if I crash and burn, I'll be okay. I won't be homeless. Um, But it could be a really cool thing. And so I started taking my pre-licensed course when my daughter was four or five months old. Um, got through it in about five or six weeks. Um, I was only able to get through it while she was taking naps and stuff, um, but ended up getting through it. Um, but what ended up happening, how I even decided for sure it's what I wanted to do is I reached out to Chad um, because he's just an old family friend. We've known the Beasleys for a very long time. Well, and and um, just like he said, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> The He's the old family friend. The old family friend. Yeah. Friends with my grandparents. He's not. He's not. Um, but I knew he was a real estate agent. That's all I knew. I had no clue. You know, he was like this mega agent. Right. You know, billion deals a year. So I was like, I'll just reach out to Chad. We live in the same or lived in the same neighborhood at the same time. At that time, we were in Chelsea Park. And um, so I reached out. I ended up going over to his house with my husband. And I was like, just tell me like what it's like. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Grandpa I Beasley. The end of that. Appreciate you watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, I was like, just tell me what real estate is like. How should I get started? Who should I talk to? What brokerage should I join? Like, I don't know where to begin. Um, I really know a lot more about the mortgage side, but I don't I want to be on the real estate side. And he at the time was not with EXP yet. And so he was 
kind of dogged the whole real estate thing. Like he was like, it's really hard. You're going to be spending a lot of money to keep your business up and running. Um, and you're pretty much out there on your own. You're going to be thrown to the wolves once you get your license. And I, I left that conversation and I was like, okay, I don't feel good about this. I don't know if this is a great idea. So I'm just going to hang out and find another opportunity somewhere else. Well, a couple of weeks later, he reaches out and says, okay, I've got to tell you about eXp Realty. And I was like, I, how much it sucks, how much I shouldn't join it. Like, you know, what else do you have? Um, so we went back to his house and I mean, there were stars in his eyes and he was just, you will kill it. I can help you. There's a mentor program. Here's the commission split. There's stock opportunities. Just he was giddy going on and on. It was night and day compared to our last conversation. That was, you know, really maybe a month prior. Um, and so I left that conversation and I was like, OK, I feel better about it now, but let's just kind of, you know, see how we feel about it. Um, give it some more time. Think about it. Pray about it. And he and his wife, Jennifer, both kept reaching out and texting, saying, hey, have you thought about it? Have you thought about it? Have you gotten started? How can we help you? We want to help you. I'm like, OK, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do the pre-licensed course. I'll join EXP. I'll just see what happens. Um, so I never considered other brokerages. Um, didn't really know much about anybody else. I just knew all of these amazing things that I was hearing from Chad and Jennifer. So I thought, you know, let's just see what happens. And God, I'm so glad I did. <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, once he, um, when I was talking to Jennifer and Chad about joining, he had mentioned to me, and it's so weird that you're on here, Chad, and I'm talking, behind, I feel like I'm talking behind your back. <laughs> Um, he mentioned um, your name to me several times about how he's never he's always wanted to help and mentor people. But where he was before, he really just couldn't because yeah. he wasn't really set up for new agents. And um, he was like, you know, this would give her an opportunity. And so he was super excited about that for <laughs> just ignore me <laughs> um, about being able to mentor you and give you a really great opportunity yeah. and being able to start out with this company. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And you're so young and I bet you have a ton of money in your stock account. Um, I cannot believe how much money I have in my stock account. And really, that was not a deciding factor for me at all. Stocks are confusing to me. Um, I've had to ask Chad a few times, what does this mean? Um, but it was kind of just like a cherry on top, like, cool. It'll probably take decades for me to reap any reward from this, but why not just have some, a stock account growing? Um, and I looked at it the other day and just the available amount of stock that I could pull out right now would pay off almost all of my debt. Um, and I haven't even been here for a year. Right. And I haven't even gotten the rewards I'm going to get for capping in a few weeks. And I'm like, if I am 25 years old and already have that much, that's just growing, growing, growing. What's it going to look like in 10 years? What's it going to look like when I'm planning for college, when I'm planning weddings, when I'm planning for retirement? Like, my mind is just blown. What what was the smallest factor in me moving over has ended up being the most mind blowing part to me that, you know, and a lot of that is awarded to me. I mean, it's free money. And I just I'm like, where else can you find something like that? You know, so I care a lot more about stocks now than I used to. <laughs> say. I mean, and I just checked it right before we got on here and it's like 60, 61 dollars. Um, and it was eight dollars when I joined less than a year ago. Um, it's just it's insane. I had lunch with Izzy today and we were talking about what was in her stock account. And oh, my heavens. And y'all are so young. What an opportunity. I was 25 when I got my license. So um, yeah. I, when I think about I was I, too. <laughs> well, Cassie, what what could we have done if we had started with EXP? Golly. I mean, and being able to say what was in our stock account then, I mean, it's amazing. So what a blessing. And yeah. it was actually one of the main reasons I did join um, yeah. was because of that. Um, so uh, but let's talk about um, let's talk about you capping. OK, so you're about to do that um, this year. Mm -hmm. And um, for everybody watching and I want to say, Austin, he said you're so relatable. Thank you for being here. <laughs> 
Kaylin, yes, she is, right? Um, and you're crushing it too. So, um, and Barb, hey. Um, so, uh, with that cap, you talked about being a part of the mentor program. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you're brand new, um, we're just going to give you some kind of the, the background as we're exploring. Um, you do, you're assigned a mentor, and Chad was her mentor. And uh, you're on a 60-40 for your first three transactions. And uh, then you go to an 80-20, which you, you talked about. And then you go to 100% minus a $250 transaction fee. That transaction fee is only there when you're on 100%. It's not on the other ones. And then we put 5% of our closings into um, purchasing our stock for a 10% discount. So that kind of gives all of of that and you are about to hit that $16,000 cap paying in, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> it's so exciting. I really, when I started at the beginning of the year, um, capping wasn't even on my radar. You know, I thought, um, you know, best case scenario, I would really love to at least just hit a million in volume so I can say that I had seven figures, you know, um, and I ended up doing that actually um, within just a couple months, which was just crazy. Um, it adds up a lot faster than you think, you know, um, but at the time I thought I just would really like to have at least a million in volume. Um, but just watching that grow and watching these transactions and the referrals that I've already received and my first year, I'm like, why on earth are people referring their friends to me? But I'll take it, you know. Um, <laughs> and so I'm set to I'll break four million, if not four and a half by the by the end of my first year. And I'm I'm in shock. I really I'm not saying that whatsoever to pat myself on the back. I'm just as shocked as anybody else is. Um, well, you I'm should pat really, yourself on the back. Well, you know, because I'm, I'm, I was I'm excited. But I don't know I'm, how many folks actually are able to do that in their first year. I mean, I mean, that's unreal. So, you know, 4 million, 5 million right out of the gate, first year, kudos. kudos. Thank you. I'm, I'm blown away, but I really can, can say with full confidence that it's the EXP model. That's the reason that, you know, I, that that's happening for me because having the mentor program set me up from the start where I got to shadow Chad on all of his appointments. I saw listing appointments. I saw showings. Um, I went to closings. I got to see it in real life, which, um, you know, you can do all the courses and all of the online training you want to do, but until you, you are experiencing it and you're pulling up to the house and you're walking through it and going to inspections and all of that, like it just isn't real. So I got to have that experience with him. Plus I got to have him coming with me to my stuff um, and walking me through those. And then once I got through, I still, I, I mean, I called him today for help. So he hasn't gone anywhere, but it was able to give me the confidence that I needed where I'm like, oh, I can handle a transaction start to finish. And so it helped me just in my marketing because I could say things more confidently. Like I've done it. I understand it. Let me help you walk through this. Um, and then I've always kind of got him like in my back pocket if I need him. Um, and, you know, then also just, just with all of the training that is available and the fact that everything is virtual or on demand, you know, I have a very strange schedule. I have a one year old um, and I have a house to maintain and I have a husband that I want to spend time with and see. And so, you know, if I'm going to do these online trainings and watch the accelerate videos and all of that, I'm not watching them while they're happening. I'm watching them while my baby is napping or after everyone's gone to bed or whatever. Um, and the fact that all of that is at my fingertips on my computer and I'm not having to pull up to an office to access things necessarily. Um, it has worked so well for my lifestyle. I haven't felt like I'm getting left behind because I'm having to work from home. I haven't felt like I'm not reaching my full potential because I don't have to go somewhere. So, I mean, it's, it's EXP. That is the reason that I've gotten as far as I've gotten in my first year. But, um, I, that's why I just scream it from the rooftops. Anyone I talk to about EXP, they're like, we get it. You like it. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not faking it. Like, I know I have a dramatic personality and I tend to embellish things, but EXP cannot be embellished. Like it is good as is. Um, it's it just is. It's been life changing. It, so and I know, I, I Gus and I have that same personality, like <laughs> get excited and you know, like when we love something or when we love people, I mean, you know, 
same way. So um, my, my wife is like, sometimes my wife would be like, <clears throat> we're still talking about EXP today. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It does have a lot to do with who Mary Martin Brown is. <laughs> I love it. I love what I do. It really, it doesn't feel like work and it feels like for the first time in my life, you know, I am working a job that doesn't feel like a job. And, you know, when clients text me at the 11th hour and say, I really want to go see this house today. I'm so sorry to text you last minute. I'm like, let's go. I want to see it too. Let's roll. Um, and so, I mean, there are parts of this job that are very difficult and things that will catch you off guard and lots of hard lessons to be learned. Every single transaction is different, um, but it's just fun to me. And in my opinion, if you don't feel that way about your job, you're in the wrong job. Um, so I finally feel what I longed to feel for years in just different areas and different um, places. And this is this is it for me. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I will tell you, you know, it, it, you don't feel like you're actually working a job when you're in real estate, when you love it. And, you know, a lot of us work way more than the the average 40 hours work week. Uh, yeah. Sometimes we put in 50, 60, 70 hours a week, yeah. uh, sometimes more, but we don't feel like we're, you know, working a lot of these times. I mean, yeah. it's fun to show houses. Like I went and showed a house uh, just a little while ago, right before this, because, you know, one of our friends was like, Hey, I really got to go see this house. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go do it. And yeah. you know, it's, it, it really is this job is, I mean, it's really kind of a lifestyle. Yeah. Um, it never yeah. really turns off. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You don't clock out, but it is a lot of fun. You know, I find myself looking at MLS even when there aren't houses that I'm looking for for clients because I'm just like, what's going on? You know, um, it's my brain think just even as I'm driving through neighborhoods and, you know, I'm constantly thinking real estate filtered thoughts. Um, and it's so much fun. It really is. Hey, I'd love to hear more about like, you know, the training, um, you know, uh, being a brand new agent, you know, you've, you, you've gone through the mentorship program. I believe you're actually a mentor too. Yes. Yeah. So that's huge. Um, but I'd love to hear kind of your thoughts on the training, what you've seen from, you know, EXP corporate, even to what we've put together through accelerate just so that, you know, some people that may be, um, you know, watching this that are thinking about real estate or yeah. maybe somewhere else, you know, just to kind of give them a little taste of that. Yeah. Um, I mean, for starters and Gussie and Jenny, y'all probably know the numbers a lot better than I do, but there are what 50 something hours of training, um, in EXP world every week. Yeah. Um, and that's on any topic you can possibly think of that has anything to do with real estate, everything from understanding contracts to septic inspections to whatever. Um, so, you know, there are things that if I'm like, I really need to brush up on this or I really don't understand this, you know, I can go to EXP World at any point and watch any of these on demand um, sessions. And, you know, you can also watch them live. But again, I live doesn't work for my lifestyle right now. It will one day. Um, but the beauty of it is that most of those things are archived. So you have the ability to do that. Um, there's also Real Estate 101 every Sunday night. And um, the first, second, third and fourth Sunday of every month have a different category um, of what they're focusing on. And so it's kind of in a four week cycle. Um, but those are super helpful, too. I'm able to watch those live a lot because um, they're at night. But that's that's just basic real estate stuff, like how to market, how to generate leads, things like that. Um, and you're going to be thrown a lot of training and a lot of information when you start. And it really feels like drinking from a fire hose. But the best advice Chad gave me when it comes to just training um, is you're going to be told a billion different ways to do something. Find the two or three that work for you and work for your personality and feel natural for you and just hone in on those. Because um, there's a lot of real estate strategies out there for lead generation marketing. And I'm like, I would never in a million years do that. <laughs> but there are people out there who do it and that is how they get all their business and they crush it. And then there are things that I do that other people say they would never do. So that's a beautiful thing, Chad. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, like we all are able to generate business in, in so many different ways. Yeah. And so, you know, there's a lot of people that go out there and cold call. There's a lot of people that just focus on their sphere. There's a lot of people that, you know, spend money on lead generation mm -hmm. websites and stuff. So yeah. There's so many things that you can do. And, and I think he advised you very well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's been great. That's EXP corporate training opportunities. And then um, just as far as like bringing it down to like a local friendly level, um, Jenny's six figure intensity um, course, which costs a lot of money if you're not with EXP, um, is free if you're an EXP agent. And how many weeks is it? Is it eight? It's eight. Eight weeks. So you were starting a new round of that right when I got my license, I think it was maybe in January that you started another round. So I hopped on that. Um, didn't really know much about it, but everyone was like, you need to do it. If you're a new agent, it's just going to be really great for getting you started. Um, and the tactics that I learned in that eight week program, I still use today. Um, and it's, there are things in there that I, I'm just like, I, this is gold. <laughs> it is such good information. And so every Monday we got a new video from Jenny um, and homework um, that we had to do over the, the course of the next week and doing those things. That's those first eight weeks of my career. That's when I was getting all of my first clients that I've, you know, and I, it's just been a domino effect from there. I'm um, having more people calling in. And um, so that was awesome. And then there's also the accelerate training um, through Facebook, which I have really loved because I like very specific training. We're going to talk about this one topic for 60 minutes. Um, and I've been watching those, of course, on demand. Um, but I mean, basic things like the the general sales contract, um, listing agreements, inspections, um, addendums and clauses, all of that kind of stuff that you learn about technically in the pre-licensed course and you go over on the exam. But again, because you haven't lived it, it doesn't mean anything to you. Um, now that I've done a few transactions, I'm going through and watching these um, hour long trainings. And it's again, just gold. It's such good information that I'm learning just even as a new agent, that a lot of the experienced agents that I'm working with, they don't know those things. Um, and so it's just, that's been super helpful too. I mean, when somebody asked me recently about what training is available for new agents and I, I couldn't give a short answer. <laughs> um, and I'm like, what training is not available for new agents? I mean, there's everything, literally anything you could want to know about buying, selling, marketing, all of it, every aspect of real estate, there's something for you um, to be a part of. Yeah. And I, I wanted to, um, I, I saw somebody give some feedback on the Accelerate training program that, that Jenny put together. And I wanted to, uh, I want to say, this person wrote, it has been a godsend. This training has helped give me the knowledge I need to be more confident as a new agent. I mean, yeah. I love that. <clears throat> yeah. I would agree. I would agree with that because a lot of this stuff is should be common knowledge to agents, but it's definitely not going to be common knowledge to the average buyer or seller. Um, and so what I've kind of found without even really trying, this was not my goal, but what's kind of become my niche in Instagram marketing is just educating buyers, particularly first time home buyers. That's what it has been the bulk of my clientele this year. Um, just educating them on different parts of the process that they know nothing about um, that make home ownership seem a lot more attainable than what they expected. Um, and so these different trainings where you're learning really in depth details about the process gives you the confidence to be able to share that with the potential client. And because they see your confidence, they're like, she knows what she's doing. I want to work with her. Like there have been things that I have learned like that day and then talked about on Instagram as if I've known it my whole life. Like everyone knows this. And then people have responded and been like, I had no idea. Will you help me buy a house? I'm like, oh my gosh. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's been so, so helpful. Good. To be Good. able to learn from Gusty teaching and Chad teaching and Barb teaching and Barb had just said, you know, I haven't worked in six years. My old job felt like prison. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, having their experience and sharing that, I just feel is, is priceless. 
Yeah. So priceless. So you're doing the right thing. And that's why you're doing so well. Okay. Because you are tapping into that resource because we can give everybody all of these tools, but if you don't use them, <laughs> they're not worth anything to you. So you're taking it. You're not only learning, you're immediately going and educating and getting clients from that. Yeah. So uh, it's giving you confidence, knowledge, but it's also giving you clients. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I love that. I love that you are taking it to that next level, that next step. Um, yeah. because I think that so many people, you know, you get used to seeing our faces and um, it, they might not you forget the value. You know, people could for, forget how valuable all that is. Yeah, I would say something else that I've shared with people who are considering real estate and considering EXP in particular, I'm like, the fact that I could text or call Jenny Williams or Gusty Goulis, Chad Beasley, any other number of people, um, and they would answer and they would help, you know, I mean, that's, you're not going to find that everywhere. Um, and so that's been priceless for me, the fact that I can get um, help in a pinch, like really quick. Like there was a time recently, I don't even remember what the issue was, um, but I had an issue with a client that I needed some help on and Chad wasn't available. I think he was out of town and he was like, call Jenny, call Jenny. You helped me immediately. Um, and I mean, it's because you want to see just the way the model is set up. It benefits you none to not help me. <laughs> So new agents, I'm like, you need to take advantage of this because, I mean, they're going to want you to succeed. So so you need to like pull from that. Um, and that's been a confidence booster for me, too, because I really just know even if I were to find myself in a really big pickle um, with the transaction, I've got you guys in my corner. Um, so I'm really not I'm not going at it alone at all at any point. Well, and that uh, we want to make sure that everyone feels like they're supported and yeah. how important you are in our group. I had that conversation with Izzy today that um, that's very important to us. Um, and I've been on the other side of the desk from so many people who had tears in their eyes because they had to pay their mentor, you know, 30 or 40 percent referral fees and uh, they would never answer their phone. And um, nobody wants to be put in that position. So I'm so glad that, um, hey, <laughs> Jay's home. Hey, Jay. <laughs> Everybody says hey. Um, uh, so, I, you know, other companies have mentor programs, but it's not like ours is, was my whole point to that. And we had another um, agent who reactivated her license last week. And she said that she was going to join another company, but they said that she had to pay a 25% referral fee for her first 10 transactions. And uh, she said, well, I need to do some more research. And so she started researching um, uh, EXP. Mm -hmm. And she said, wow, y'all are the most up and coming. And that's what I want to be a part of. Yeah. And uh, the mentor program is uh, a lot less expensive. <laughs> yeah. And so worth it. I mean, I also thought, you know, OK, well, best case scenario, maybe I'll just get through my first three transactions my first year <laughs> um, and then I'll be able to go to an 80 20 split for my second year. Um, but just oh. it really I would have paid more than that at this point, knowing what I gained from it. Um, it's you know, it is one of the best parts of becoming a new agent, having that, um, knowing that that's kind of kind of be like a springboard for you getting started. <laughs> Barbara said she just made the same face as Gusty. <laughs> I love it. So what surprises you? What, you know, what have you found that really surprised you about EXP? About EXP? Um, just the agent collaboration. I think that, um, you know, it is a little concerning for some people that everything is pretty much just in the cloud and virtual, um, especially too with COVID going on. There's not much in-person stuff going on anywhere, um, but it never ne it never really bothered me. Um, but I was just kind of like, well, this is going to be interesting because I always figured if I was a real estate agent that I would 
go to an office, you know, every day and be sitting around having meetings with people all day. Um, little did I know if you're in an office all day, then you're not a successful real estate agent because uh, you need to be in your car all day. Um, but uh, what has surprised me is just the relationships that I've built um, with some agents that I haven't even met in person yet. Um, but they are either in the area or close to the area. Um, there are other EXP agents and we're, we're going through these trainings together. We're collaborating on all these Facebook pages like, hey, have you dealt with this yet? How do you handle this? Has anyone seen this happen before? What's the best way to handle this situation? Um, and that has just been incredible because I, I like to work myself. I like to be my own boss and kind of set my own goals, but I also like to have people kind of around me um, that I can pull from and learn from. And um, yeah, Chad, what Chad said is very true, <laughs> um, but uh, it has been um, so nice just making these relationships and making friendships with, so not only with you guys, um, but I can text, you know, Izzy Mosley or Courtney Draper or any number of other people and be like, have y'all dealt with this before? Um, and that has just been huge. Um, there's just, there's an infinite number of people that I can ask for help from. So like I said earlier, I've never felt alone in this at all. Um, I have felt like I've got an entire team of people around me, even though I'm not technically on a team. Well, one of the things that, um, and I know Gusty probably has a million questions for you, but one of the things mm -hmm. that um, I personally love about EXP and I'm watching you do this um, in your career is that the company lets leaders be leaders and um, you don't have, they don't uh, uh, put you down and try to stop you from being a leader. Like nobody mm -hmm. asked me to put together accelerate training for everybody. Yeah. I just felt there was a need for it. And, yeah. and you know, Gusty and Chad and I tweaked at it and, um, you know, and then released it. Um, uh, nobody taps you on the shoulder to ask you to do anything, but like a lot of people come to you for advice and you're starting to be a leader in this company already. And, uh, you know, you're going to be taking on uh, a lot more roles. Um, uh, I feel like a leadership role because, um, you know, you're already a mentor. Um, uh, so I, that's one of the things that I actually love about this company. Um, mm -hmm. when people are leaders, they're going to rise and the company gives you opportunities to do that and, uh, uh, actually supports you in doing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, for, for some people that's important. They feel like, oh, well, I won't, you know, I won't have, if I don't, if I have my own company is going to be the only way I have independence. No, you, you can do whatever it is you feel like you want to do under this umbrella. Yeah. And I feel like there really is no ceiling. Um, the sky is kind of the limit. And, and I've heard people from other brokerages sort of saying the opposite. Like they sort of feel like you've got the big names at the brokerage and that's everyone's rah rah about them at all the sales meetings and everything. And if you're not doing a super impressive amount of volume, then no one really cares what you have to say. Um, you're really not going to get any spotlight. Um, but with EXP, I have had people cheering me on since I even had my first contract. Um, and people wanting to see me succeed. And, you know, I have had people reaching out, asking me for advice on stuff. And I'm like, how am I qualified to give anybody advice? <laughs> um, but I do feel like I have packed 10 years of experience and education into my first year. I mean, I kind of sometimes have to be like, how have I only been doing this for 10 months? Because it feels like I've been doing it a long time. Um, just because it's such a busy job and you're constantly on the go, you're always doing things. And I don't even rem remember what life was like before this because it has just been so wild and so fun. But I do feel like there's not a ceiling for me here at all. I don't know what I'll be doing in EXP 20 years from now, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, and, you know, if this is my base, <laughs> my first year is my, you know, my lowest year ever, then it's, I think it's going to be a really fun ride. It is. Sure. And Gusty, you can tell her what she can be doing at EXP in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will be on the beach. I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you, you know, I'm more than welcome to come and hang out and we'll have masterminds at the beach. How about that? That's right. Um, I'm good with it. 
here, I'd love to just kind of, you know, I know people have been asking you about EXP. What are some of the questions that people do ask you uh, about the company? Um, the biggest question, and I kind of touched on this earlier, but the biggest question is, you know, what makes EXP different slash how can I do trainings um, and things like that if for the most part I'm going to be working from my laptop at home? Um, and so those have been easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a mastermind at Chad's nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go visit him. I'm really never going to hear the end of this now. Oh, um, no, Chad's going to come visit me. I, I told him uh, as soon as I hit Icon next month, I'm going straight into the nursing home. <laughs> He's going to get a uh, an Icon cane. <laughs> 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 or some EXP branded hearing aids. There you go. I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, those have been easy questions to answer. You know, I don't have anything to compare it to. I wasn't anywhere else before I was at EXP, but I've heard enough from the multitudes of people who have come to EXP from other areas and from other companies. Um, and then just what I've personally experienced, there's, no lack of training, no lack of support whatsoever. And then just monetarily hearing the other commission splits and the other caps. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day at a different company and she just got her license, just got started and her cap is 30 grand. And I'm like, how? okay, I mean, good luck. <laughs> you know, even <laughs> lower than what we've got, you know, I think it was like a 70, 30 or even a 60, 40, and then a $30,000 cap. And I'm, you know, that's just hard. That's a, that's a really hard way to get started as an agent. Cause you're just not going to be seeing the fruit of your labor for a while. Um, and with the EXP model, a few months in, I was like, Oh my goodness, I can go pay cash for something I never would have been able to pay cash for, you know, and all this debt that has just been looming over me, like we're chipping away at it with every commission check um, and we'll be debt free so much earlier in life than I ever expected. And you just really can't put a price tag on that. So I use my own personal experience when people ask me, um, you know, about the benefits of EXP and, you know, what's in it for me basically is the question that people are asking and, you know, I feel like I, I'm a pretty good example of what can happen um, if you, you know, jump in and don't dip your toe in. You got to go all the way in and, and see what happens. And it's it's been so rewarding. Yeah, for sure. Well, and I'll tell you, you know, I, we've I've had a couple of questions this week and, um, you know, I've, I've had people reach out to me from, you know, locally in Birmingham, but also out of state. Um, so, you know, that's one of the cool things about EXP is, you know, if you've got relationships outside of the area, you can actually, uh, partner with them. And mm -hmm. so like, I, I've got, I've got friends out of state that, that are looking at, uh, coming on board with us and they're going to be a part of our group and, and we're all going to be able to, to share and learn with each other. And, yeah. and what, what they were saying was we wanted to be a part of a really strong piece of collaboration. Mm -hmm. And um, and, I, and I think what we've put together with our Accelerate team is, is all about the collaboration. It's being cheerleaders for our agents. It's uplifting Mary Martin and, and cheering her on as she's closing her deals and she hits cap mm -hmm. and, and those kind of things. And, um, and so people are looking for that collaboration. I've also had people that have reached out saying, my broker is, you know, not in the greatest of health. And I want to make sure that my business is, you know, uh, going to be moving forward mm -hmm. with, you know, the right company for our future. I'm looking at my future. And so, you know, there's a lot of things that people are looking at. You know, I think with everything that's happened this year with COVID, it's been so different and people are really thinking about what does their future look like? Mm -hmm. And with us being able to, well, there's my little doggy. Uh, <laughs> uh, with us being able to, here, we'll have Fitz come on. All right, Fitz. <laughs> Fitz says, hey. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, with, with everything with COVID happening, I think people have really decided to look really at where their business is, where they want their business to go yeah. and grow in the future. And I think that's part of the reason why 
we're having a lot of phone calls and conversations about EXP and partnering with EXP for people's future because you can sell real estate anywhere. Okay. That's, you know, there's no secret to that, mm -hmm. but what you can't find everywhere is the amount of collaboration that we have, mm -hmm. uh, the amount of training that we have, the amount of, uh, or just in other opportunities like having the stocks, whether it's awarded to you or whether you are investing mm -hmm. in it within the agent equity program and then the revenue share program. And, the easy, and, and I was having a conversation with somebody about this um, earlier this week. And it's like, and basically the way I said it is revenue share is like running your own brokerage and it's, it's running your own brokerage without all the risk and the liabilities. And you've got, uh, a national company that is handling all the operations while we get to do all the fun stuff like helping people, you know, like get to cap and helping people with their marketing campaigns and, and all those kind of things. And so what I found is just people are looking for more opportunities within a real estate company and, and you're not going to find any more opportunities than, than we have here at EXP. Yeah. I didn't even talk about rev share. Um, I've got one agent under me right now. A couple more are on the way, um, but one agent under me and my ref share check that I'm going to get this month from him um, is going to pay both of our car payments and then some. And so, you know, it's a beautiful thing about, you know, I'm not paying for a trip to the Grand Canyon yet, like Jenny, but, but I'm like, that is one agent. And he's new too. He started when I started. That's awesome. um, and so I'm like, if I were to go a month without having a closing, I've still got my stock continuing to grow and I've got rev share from the people under me who are having closings and that kind of security um, that you have knowing if I, you know, if I do have a couple of off months or if I need to take time off for some reason, like I'm not going to hit zero. Um, and that's another thing that I didn't know I was looking for when I started real estate. I wasn't thinking about that at all. Um, but it's been such a huge perk and financial blessing for my family. Yes, it is. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing in 20 years because you're going to have so much rev share. That's what I was uh, uh, alluding to is that um, you're building it up like your stock portfolio and your red share because you're so young in 20 years, you're going to do whatever you want to do. It's yeah. going to be unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Anything you want to do. Um, a third of my red share check that I get this month on the 22nd will go is going to um, a trip to Breckenridge. So uh, it, it's, and, and it's a third. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Not half, not all of it, not contributing to it. <laughs> so it sounds too good to be true. I mean, when Chad was telling me about EXP um, before, like right after he had joined and before I had even started my course, I was like, that all sounds great. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking it's going to be a while before I'm going to be as giddy about it as he is because I'm not going to benefit from this for a while. Um, and sure enough, I mean, a couple months into having my license, I, in addition to my own closings, I was starting to get rev share checks and I was seeing my stock portfolio grow. I'm like, I thought there was a glitch. I mean, I really thought I shouldn't have, my number shouldn't be that high yet. Like what's going on. Um, and that's why I do continue to tell people like there is no limit. Like I am just as curious to see what's going to happen in 20 years as anybody else is because um, what this is setting up for my family again is it's, I didn't go into real estate to give my family a better future necessarily. I didn't go into real estate to set up a retirement account. I went into real estate because it sounded fun and I thought I might be good at it. Um, and all of these other benefits that I'm receiving that I wouldn't be able to receive elsewhere are just you know, I'm pinching myself. Um, I can't believe that this is what I get to do. And that's why I am screaming it from the rooftops. And that's why, you know, anyone I know who's looking at getting into real estate, I'm like, you don't have an option. It's going to be EXP. Um, <laughs> and here are all the reasons why. So. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of the things that, um, you know, it, it really just, when you think of like 20 years, like you just, just got in the business and looking at 20 years, like, um, 
plan like we are good planners like agents are really good planners for everybody but sometimes not for ourselves yeah. and um with everything that we have at exp it helps us be better planners not only for you know our future but our family's future and so you know what you're building um you know from a revenue share standpoint is willable and so you know your 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 daughter is going to be able to have that uh, as long as she gets licensed uh in the future <laughs> so i mean that's just like what a blessing yeah yeah it really is um there are just not enough good things that I could say. It's, it's amazing. Well, Gusty and I were talking this past week about how it is unbelievable to a lot of people that, um, and you know, I, I'm always very transparent. I'll show it's unbelievable you. to me sometimes. It is. I mean, really, it is like, I mean, when you look at this, you're like, it, this can't be, this can't be. And, uh, and I'm transparent. We'll show my dashboard. And then a lot of times people will say, but I'm not you. Well, no, you're better than I am. You know, you're not me. You're better than I am. Um, and uh, I think that people won't listen because it does sometimes seem too good to be true. Yeah. So um, I, I, I'm going to stop sharing probably uh, all of how much I make with RevShare because it's not believable to a lot of people. Um, but I'll show it to you if you want to see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. I think that you could end up making a plan to um, retire in 20 years if you wanted to, because this company will allow you to do that. Yeah. Um, and quickly, like, I mean, I haven't even been here for two years and my stock account is just beautiful. Even after I have cashed in $32,000 of it, um, I'm still uh, just below, um, uh, you know, multiple six figures. And um, I, I, my, of course, uh, one of my friends, I will not say his name, has multiple six figures in one year. And <laughs> another one of my friends has triple six figures. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so much fun. Like yeah. I was telling somebody who's joining today. Um, I was talking to him right before I jumped on uh, this. And I said, you know, if you're burned out, if you're burned out and tired. Um, this will give you the excitement, the motivation to go and uh, uh, put that energy back into your business again, because mm -hmm. not only do you have the support that will motivate you and the different ideas that we get from each other, mm -hmm. um, but you also can get up and check your stock account and you can also get up and check your rev share account. And just those things are so much fun and yeah. it will make you giddy. I mean, that's how Chad was giddy that day talking to you because it makes you giddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it keeps you going. And I remember at that first meeting that I had with Chad last summer, I was like, what I've seen happen way too many times is people that I know um, announce to the world. They're like, I just got my real estate license. Here's my business card. Call me if you want to buy or sell. Um, and then you never see another post. And then a few months down the road, you see that they just started a new job somewhere else. <laughs> And so I told him, I was like, I am scared to death of going through all of these steps, spending the money up front, um, joining a brokerage, making this big announcement because I, you know, care a lot about what people think. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. And then never sell a house and realize that this isn't the thing for me. And then I've got to backpedal and be like, actually, I'm going to go back into sales or whatever. Um, and you know, once we had the conversation about EXP, he was like, that's not going to happen. Um, because like I said, you know, even if I do have a couple of off months or I do go, you know, a period of time without a closing, I've got all these other things that are growing and that are, you know, just continuing to pile on top of each other um, 10 months in that I'm like, why would I ever leave? You know, like I can't even believe it crossed my mind that I would only do this for a little while and then it just wouldn't be a good fit. Um, and I do think that I see a lot of new agents at other places 
getting burnout so soon and so easily because they're spinning their wheels. They don't have support. There's no one that they can get help from. They don't know a lot of the basics of real estate because it leaves your mind after you take the state exam. Mm -hmm. And once you go a few months and you haven't done a deal yet, you're like, what am I doing? You know, this has been a waste of time. Um, and EXP just doesn't really allow for that because you hit the ground running and you're like, you're making money your first month. Um, and so that has just, you know, it's, I'm so, so grateful that I didn't experience that somewhere else. Um, and this is the only thing I've, I've experienced because that's why I'm trying to catch these people before they get their license or before they join somewhere else. I'm like, don't, don't go over there, come over here. Um, cause it'll be good from the start. Well, and you have seen a couple of people join other places that haven't sold anything. Yeah. And, you know, that's so disappointing. And, yeah. uh, you know, it, it does happen, but um, we're running out of time. And I wanted just to say that this will be yours next year. <laughs> We're going to end up getting one of these next year. Oh, um, you're coming this year and uh, uh, whenever your anniversary rolls over and for people watching, that's our icon award. And uh, uh, I know that Mary Martin's going to get it next year because um, you'll cap quickly and then you'll do roughly another 20. 20, it's probably 23 transactions somewhere in there um, after you cap. And uh, then the company awards you back and it's in increments, uh, uh, the whole $16,000 that you paid in in stock. And so it's such a wealth builder. And that is the main reason I joined. Yeah. And it was such a motivator for me. It, the company, the way everything's set up, it's such a motivator to cap as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And then you want to work so super hard because you've got this icon out there dangling. And uh, that was, you know, me going back into sales uh, and I haven't sold a house in 10 years. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need to make icon for my very first year back in. And it makes you pick up the phone. It makes you go places. It makes you you work harder, follow up um, so that that you can do that. And uh, wow, what a blessing for my family. Yeah, because how it's grown and you're going to be able to get to do that next year. I know it. That would be great. Let's do it. <laughs> be our youngest icon. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, we've gone through exploring um, all the benefits of EXP. And uh, if you want to, to, to learn more and uh, get to know who we are, then um, you can go into uh, the world. Um, I teach 101 this Sunday um, at eight o'clock. And uh, I'm actually interviewing um, Beatty Carmichael, who is a direct mail um, expert. Um, he has spent years researching headlines, uh, call to actions, um, uh, wording that works, the graphics that work. And uh, he's going to be explaining that to us this Sunday night at 8 p.m. Central in the world. And you can get a guest pass and uh, we'll be happy to, to send that to you. Ask Mary Martin um, for a guest pass and uh, mm -hmm. she can give that to you. Yep. Anything that you want to know, just reach out to her or reach out to Gusty or me and we're here to help you. And uh, find your place where you can also thrive as well. Yeah. So thanks so much for being here, Mary Martin. We yeah, just thank you. you. And oh my God, it's so much fun to watch you grow. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, y'all really have played such a huge part in this year. And I mean, I would not be here without you guys. So thank you. Don't go anywhere. Cause I still need. <laughs> yeah. and, and grandpa Beasley. Yeah, grandpa Beasley. <laughs> What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much. And everybody have a great week. Um, we want, we can't wait to celebrate and put all your promo out for capping. <laughs> Bye y'all. <laughs>